Hey guys, today is day 25 of Millionaire NBA. And today we had Ivan Mascal. And he was a. Uh, what, what, what did he do? He, he owns uh, Mascal Financial. He started a business from Squat in London. And his main thing was acting today as you want to be tomorrow. Uh, basically he told stories and it was kind of like a rambling to me and uh, I, re I really didn't get anything out of it uh, so um, cause most like I think he, he only spent time on two subjects and he just kept going on and on and on nobody stopped him to get what we really wanted was uh, his, can his key insights and what made him like you know, successful or whatever, but he just gave a story and he kind of stayed away from himself, he just, he didn't really go inside himself, he just kind of used external external forces outside of him, I don't know, but, um, but yeah, but we do have another guy, uh, after that he ha there was a Peter Sage and this is one of them special interviews or whatever, so uh, I was listening to him, I was like, oh yeah, this guy's pretty good. So I just kept uh, listening to it and made notes on it. So we're going to use Peter Sage, and he's a motiva motivational speaker. Um, so uh, it's great, because uh, you usually get great stuff from speakers like him. So, okay, the first one, I'm going to go through the notes from the interview. The first one is Peter Peter Sage wrote a manuscript on a manual about physique and he sold it through mail order and he he, he made it grow, grow up. Uh, he did this in his 20s I believe and um, so yeah it was kind of like I was kind of expi uh, expiring for me because he read uh, a article about, or I think he read a book on something about physique, and uh, he didn't really. He thought it was terrible, so uh, he went all ahead and just wrote one uh, manual on it, and he sold it through mail order. And I don't know, that was pretty. That's pretty inspiring to me. You sell something you don't like, and you just write it anyways. Write your own version. And will I be able to do that? Uh, not off the top of my head, I would not. But uh, I do have knowledge on things I could do things on, but um, I really haven't organized it. Uh, it's, all, it's like all in my head. I don't really, really speak out on it. Okay, the next thing is how can I make money without spending the least amount possible? So you should ask this question about you. He he mentioned that like people, when people have money, they ask themselves, "How do I spend this money?" So, um, but in this one, he he wants you to make you think uh, differently. Like, you know, instead of spending that money, spending all that money, how about how can I make money? Without spending the most possible, or or without spending spending the least possible, how can I make money without making without spending it? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. I, I should lift out the least because I said without. Uh, never mind. My bad English. So okay. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's good. So the next thing is, if you're commitment, if you're committed, then you will find the resources to success. And uh, I hear commitment a lot. And um, uh, there's there's always something that's just like there's always that something like, especially on the internet that that just gets me sucked in, you know, and I can't get out. I'm like. Oh my god, I'm trapped. <laughs> I I am trapped. And uh 
I can't do the things I need to do that I have on the list. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trapped. When I get in, I'm sucked in and I'm trapped. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, if I, especially once this is over, like, this goes into day 40, and the first thing I usually do is do moving their NBA. And uh, I know once I start, <laughs> once this is over, then uh, my first thing I'm going to be doing is that uh, the projects I'm, the projects I'm doing. So, so yeah, I don't know. Okay, the next thing is when you change success, then money will follow. So uh, this guy, he doesn't want you to to like uh, chase the money. He doesn't want you to chase the money. He's like the love of money is the evil. So um, so he's like just chase the success and the money will follow. So uh, yeah, I like to be I like to be you know successful. And this one psychic, she told me that. Uh, that that I'll be more concerned about this how successful I'm doing things instead of uh, how much I'm making. So um, that's uh, really impactful. So um, the success part is something I know that I need to do. And uh, unfortunately, the money is kind of like man. If I had that, that just gets me out of here. That just gets me on my own and doing my own thing you know and, um, I really would like that I, I really would like that I mean I really would like to get out of here I mean and just do my own thing and find my my partner and uh, really start my new life my new chapter in life that'd be really cool and um, unfortunately this internet thing is just sucking me in uh, I'm still doing Millionaire MBA and I have a deadline that's due next month and this, of this project <sighs> and my sister's business is opening up so I'm gonna have to help over there so hmm. okay the next thing is um, if you created something for your vision Uh, I totally forgot what he said. This guy is the fast talker. He's this Paul S Peter Sage guy. He's like a super fast talker. I'm trying to keep up, and I, I totally forgot what he said, the ending. But I, t I heard vision. I'm like, dude, he's talking about vision. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the vision is the key. When you create something in your vision, then like. I mean, you, 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 you create it and you have a vision of it. That's just, that's pretty inspiring, man. Okay, next thing is, if 100% of your mind, then the universe finds a way to bring it. So if you're using 100% of your mind, yeah, that's like, that's like all in, man. That's like, like, I think he meant like being like committed to it, like the purpose you're out to, the purpose you're you're set out to do, and like then like the universe will bring it to you. Like, I mean, he said universe. I'm like, wow, this guy is smart, uh, very wise. So, um, but yeah, maybe a hundred percent in the mind on that. Hmm. That's gonna be. Hmm. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. Even the psychic said I need to be a hundred percent and put a lot of effort in this. Oh wow. Oh man. Even 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 my most recent reading is like put all your all your energy and focus on this particular thing you want. Oh man, so hmm, do I really? How bad do I want it? Is like, do I want it bad? Do do I want it bad? Hmm. 
well it is what my my top priority though so I'm getting close to it I'm getting close I'm about 90% there okay the next thing is my heart was all passionate about this goal I was like when he said his heart I'm like man usually people talk about their mind but this guy's talking about his heart man this this gives him like double points man so um, so uh, yeah I do believe the heart is a major key instead of the mind if you go with the heart then you got your heart involved too so so he was all passionate about this goal so yeah you really need that passion in your heart if you have passion in your heart you will have passion in my heart for this project ah. Uh, maybe about success. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. The next thing is, surround yourself with people who support you. Ooh. I really don't have anybody who I could lean upon with support. Because, um, you know, kind of a loner. Uh, my good friend, he is, he actually isn't, he actually is with another guy and they're starting a business so he's not, he's not going to have much time helping me out, which he wasn't really much of a help, uh, more kind of a indecisive guy. Uh, let's see, then you got this other guy who is quite lazy and he dropped out of college and you got this other guy who just who went to college but uh, has his mind focused on uh, on something that doesn't really get him anywhere and yeah that's pretty much it and then I got family family my dad believes in me but he he really doesn't know anything about the entrepreneur sort of things and then um, my sister she's into her business and then her boyfriend's into the business too and then like in their business and like me I really don't have any people I sell people from the meditation center and from the church Hmm, so, I don't know, it's going to be real hard, you know, so, hmm, well, I'm just going to have to rely on myself. <laughs> okay, the next thing is um, you become who you hang with, choose people who will challenge you, make you grow. Man, so it's just me, man. Um, I'm, I'm usually in an environment, especially when I'm helping out with my sister, I usually put my headphones on so I don't really have to listen to your chatter and uh, stuff going on. I don't really like, I really don't like being bored. So I have to put on like uh, some sort of audio to simulate my mind to get me thinking about successes and uh, get my get my dominating influence on succeeding and having success in life. And that's just you know just learning about wisdom and how to carry that through and learning about laws, natural laws and habits and like. Uh, secrets you know stay of being yeah that's good stuff okay um, but uh, choose people who challenge you make you grow I do know one girl this one girl could help me but she's uh, working on her she's in the medical school so she would be pretty busy if I, you know, 
this way. Oh, um, actually, I have a reading on a reading on the uh, on my on the on the on the year for next year. So um, we'll see uh, what happens. Um, let's see if she's involved or not. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna. That's the work in progress. So. Um, Okay, the next thing is persistence is doing whatever it is until it's done. I love the word persistence. Uh, I love that self determination, determination, per persistent, persistence. Yeah, I like that. So it's doing whatever it is until it's done. So uh, yeah, just do it until it's finished. Uh, for me, uh, I'm not doing it. I'm sort of evolving it. I think that's really the key here. Here is I'm evolving it, and for a reason why I'm evolving it, I, I really don't know the reason why I'm doing that. Um, but let's see if I think it out. Why am I evolving? It? I think it's because I have a higher passion for like sports and spirituality than than this uh, South American decor thing. But uh, but. If success was my highest priority, then uh, I should be doing this, doing that. I mean, so um, it's all about being committed, you know, hundred percent. Instead of researching and doing all that, yeah, it's gonna come back to that. It's all this is gonna come back to your commitment. And uh, it's going to be come back down to the first step, which is definite and purpose. And uh, still, still lingering. I'm still, I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just still lingering. My major purpose in life is to be financially free and to create a uh, philosophy or something like that, or a system to eliminate. Or to transcend fear-based thinking? I don't know. Hmm. Um. Okay, the next one is these are some somebody who goes out and gets what they want. <laughs> these are oh man, this guy is so good, man. He he broke this down so well. He thought it out so well. I'm not gonna lie. The only problem with him is that he talked. A little too fast, and uh, we couldn't really comprehend. But we knew he was right, and he talked. That's one of the things. I'm, I'm really going to slow it down for the slow people, and uh, speed up it at moments for us. You know, sometimes you know, mix it up a little bit. I don't know. Well, yeah, desire. Yeah, desire. Desire always comes up when you talk about success. And, uh, basically, somebody who goes out and gets what they want. And, uh, do I want it? Do I want to be this? Um, do I want it? I do want it. I mean, I do want it. It's, it's something, uh, it's, it's going to get done. It's, it's, it's gonna get done, you know. Eventually, it's gonna get done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow tired of just uh, letting life make things make uh, life hard for me. So I'm just gonna make life easy for me, and like I'm gonna have to do that eventually, and uh, make it on my own and impact people, and influence people, inspire people. So, so yeah. And the last thing is enjoy it. Never let your success make you superior. Uh, since everybody is equal, everybody has the same ability as anyone else. And um, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy all your accomplishments. And um, you know, success. When you do have it, don't let it make it superior. You know, it's just. Hey, anybody could do it, you know. You could do it, man. I know you could do it, man. <laughs> if I could do it, you could do it, you know. So, so 
It's sort of like that sort of thing, but um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Paul Peter said she's somebody I want to look at in the future since he's so good at this. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Lena Borch. Borch. In and out catering. So, so yeah. Um, see you later.